The A330neo has truly proven its superior abilities in the commercial aviation industry, despite initial doubts that it can't get love from airlines. A prime example is Cathay Pacific's recent announcement of a huge plan involving this aircraft, which aims to bring about profound changes in the aviation industry. What is that huge new plan and how will it change aviation? Let's find out in today's episode. Cathay Pacific has announced a significant fleet expansion with the purchase of 30 wide-body Airbus A33900 aircraft. The Hong Kong-based airline has also secured options for an additional 30 aircraft, demonstrating a strong commitment to future growth. Cathay has not disclosed the total purchase price, but stated that it received a significant discount on the basic value of approximately 85.8 billion HKD, which is 11 billion USD from the European aircraft manufacturer. This acquisition marks a major investment in Cathay Pacific's future operational capacity and market position, with deliveries expected to be completed by the end of 2031. Cathay Pacific first hinted at the possibility of purchasing mid-sized wide-body aircraft in late 2022, indicating a carefully considered decision-making process. To enhance customer experience and solidify Hong Kong's position as an international aviation hub, the airline announced an investment of over 100 billion HKD. This investment aligns with the development of the three-runway system at Hong Kong International Airport. This is a groundbreaking plan, with a massive expansion involving up to 100 next-generation aircraft currently being delivered and options for over 80 additional aircraft. This diverse order includes narrow body, regional wide body, long haul wide body, and large freighter aircraft aimed at significantly modernizing and expanding Cathay's fleet. Cathay currently operates a fleet of over 230 aircraft, primarily passenger planes. The report indicates that profits for shareholders reduced by 15% year on year to 463 million USD in the first half of the year, adding that costs increased due to operating more flights. However, total revenue for the period rose nearly 14% to 6.4 billion USD, driven by high travel demand and strong cargo operations. Cathay also announced that its passenger numbers had reached 80% of pre-pandemic levels and are on track to reach 100% in the first quarter of 2025. Previously, Cathay had committed to restoring 100% of its pre-pandemic passenger flight capacity by the end of 2024, but in March, it pushed this target back by three months. Want more news, analysis, and discussion about aviation? Stay ahead with our latest videos. Subscribe now and never miss out on the action. The improved fuel efficiency of these modern aircraft will play a crucial role in reducing carbon emissions and support Cathay's commitment to achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. These new aircraft not only enhance the airline's capacity, but also contribute to environmental goals. The airline's fleet is extensive, comprising up to 177 aircraft, including both Airbus and Boeing models. Cathay is indeed the largest operator of the A330-300 in the world. The airline has a fleet of 43 300 aircraft with an average age of 16 years and various seating configurations. In total, the airline has operated 6300 variants, of which 17 have been retired. Cathay plans to expand its fleet with the A33900 as it retires more 300 variants in the coming years. Additionally, Cathay has also ordered the Boeing 777-9 to operate ultra-long-haul routes. A33900, a member of the A330neo family, is a long-range aircraft designed to enhance performance and provide a better passenger experience. With a range of up to approximately 13,334 kilometers, 7,200 nautical miles, this aircraft is capable of intercontinental and long-haul flights. It features a spacious cabin that offers comfort across all three classes, first, business, and economy. Designed to Airbus's airspace standards, the cabin boasts modern amenities including adjustable LED lighting, larger overhead bins, and larger windows for improved outside views. Seats can be customized according to airline preferences with options like fully flatbeds in business class and extra legroom in economy. Additionally, the A33900 is equipped with an advanced personal entertainment system featuring HD touchscreens, a variety of entertainment options, and Wi-Fi connectivity. This aircraft is equipped with Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines, offering improved fuel efficiency and reduced noise compared to previous models. Its wing design, featuring larger sharklets, reduces drag, saves fuel, and extends range. 
With engine and design enhancements, the 900 variant consumes 14% less fuel per seat compared to competing aircraft, making it an economical and eco-friendly choice. Notably, it inherits proven safety features from the A330 family, along with advanced new technologies to ensure the highest reliability and safety. With these outstanding attributes, the Airbus aircraft not only provides a comfortable and convenient flying experience for passengers, but also represents an efficient and sustainable option for airlines. Additionally, Cathay Pacific is the first and largest operator of the Boeing 777-300. With this new purchase, Cathay will become a major operator of the A330neo. Besides Cathay, other airlines also see the potential in this aircraft. Delta Airlines has ordered 35 900 variants, Virgin Atlantic has ordered 14 this aircraft, and AirAsia X has ordered 78 A330-900. Initially doubted for its commercial viability, as the A330neo was seen merely as a replacement for the earlier A330 CEO model that didn't yet require an upgrade, the aircraft has now proven its full potential and is expected to continue being a strong seller in the future. The proportion of new aircraft in the global fleet has rapidly increased in recent years, signaling a shift towards newer, more sustainable models. As airlines and operators seek to optimize operations and meet the latest sustainability requirements, modernizing fleets has become a natural solution. As a result, we can expect to see a rise in next-generation aircraft such as the A330neo. Rodrigo Lazama, director of Wide Body Aircraft Marketing, said that the A330neo offers range and flexible capacity to meet a wide range of market needs and fit various operations. Its exceptional market range allows airlines to tap into new markets and enhance regional adaptability. Additionally, with the widespread popularity of the Airbus family fleet, the aircraft presents low adoption risk and significant value for airlines. The Airbus A330neo embodies all the qualities of a highly popular passenger aircraft. Its fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, operational flexibility, advanced in-flight entertainment, and cost effectiveness make it an appealing choice for both airlines and travelers. The large order book and adoption by major airlines indicate that it is poised to become a dominant player in the aviation industry. Unfortunately, it may not surpass the Boeing 737 MAX or the A320 in terms of numbers, but the A330neo remains a highly efficient and well-loved aircraft due to its comfort and unique advantages. In fact, it is said to become a formidable competitor in this market segment. As of March 20, 24, the A330 family is in operation with over 150 operators worldwide, serving 400 airports. The aircraft has seen 1,599 deliveries as of the end of April 20, 24, and has 1,774 confirmed orders. This demonstrates the strong appeal of the A330neo. Low-cost carrier Frontier, following in the footsteps of other U.S. airlines like JetBlue and Spirit, has announced that it will delay its Airbus orders, converting 18 A320neo aircraft to A321. Neo and will not purchase any A321 XLR aircraft. Frontier has 11 A321 Neo aircraft scheduled for delivery in the remainder of 2024, but has rearranged its order book from 2025 to 2029. As of June 20, 24, the airline has an order for 198 aircraft, 49 A320 Neo and 149 A321 Neo, with deliveries expected to be completed by the end of 2029. As for the XLR, Frontier was the first U.S. airline to order this jet in July 20, 19. Previously, JetBlue had postponed its A321 XLR order until 2030, while Spirit Airlines delayed its A320neo deliveries until 2030 to 2031. So, what is the reason that airlines are continuously canceling or delaying the delivery times of Airbus aircraft? Pratt & Whitney's PW1100 GJM engines used on Airbus A320neo aircraft have caused major issues, including premature wear and maintenance delays. These problems have led to disruptions in Airbus's delivery schedule and forced some airlines to postpone aircraft deliveries or reduce flight frequencies. Besides, concerns over reliability and maintenance costs have also prompted some airlines to alter their orders or switch to alternative engine manufacturers like CFM International. These challenges have significantly impacted both Airbus and the airline's operations. 
Do you think there might be other reasons, aside from the ones mentioned, that could lead airlines to cancel their Airbus aircraft orders? Or if you'd like us to analyze this further, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Thank you, and see you next time.